So this look is all about recreating Anne Hathaway's look from the Oscars, and it's a really simple look. It's kind of a, a modern day twist on the Audrey Hepburn look. It's got the Audrey Hepburn line, and it's got that clean lid with a little bit of a pinkish gray twist to it. So that's what we're gonna do. And in doing that, we still need to prep it like a normal Audrey Hepburn eye where we make the lid really quite clean, but then we're gonna go back and we're gonna give it a bit of a wash of a silvery gray color before we do our, our um, liner. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and create that really pretty canvas, which of course means a nice clean canvas. So I'm gonna start with a matte cream beige. Close for me. I'm just gonna give the whole lid a wash of that. Then I'm gonna go back over that with a matte beige. So we just get a nice, pretty highlighted lid. I'm going to take my 28 and just buff it out. So a nice blend. I'm just going to do a quick coat of mascara so I can kind of see what's happening with her lashes. Okay, now, I just need a tiny bit of definition in the crease before I do my wash of gray. I'm just going to take a little bit of a matte taupe, just lightly define the crease. Because of course, the focus of this look is the lash line. All right, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush. Number 27, and a nice pretty silvery gray. And I'm just gonna wash it over the lid. Going back and blending it out on number 28. I'm going to take my number 30 so I can get closer to the lash line. A little more pinky silver gray. 
to get a little deeper. All right, now I'm going to line, give it that little Audrey line. Before I start, though, I'm going to push some color into our lash line. Open and look down for me. I look down. So using my number 41 brush, because I'm going to put that color right at the lash line. I want that liner to look like it's one with the lash line. So I want to darken in between the lashes. Look down and over that way. Now I'm going to first start with pencil. Anytime doing doing an Audrey eye, I want to start with pencil first. Then look down. Nice and thin on the inside. I'm going to start to make our line with our pencil. Tracy thinks she's allowed to look at herself in the camera. So we're starting to create our shape with the pencil. We're going to fine tune it with shadow and powder. Or shadow and a brush. Open and look down. Zoom in number 42. Look at me. And the reason you do a shadow and a brush first is it enables you to fine tune your line before you start with your liquid or your gel. Then we will go back over it. with our gel liner.
now I've finished the line. I threw on a false lash. Um, I'm going to just mascara the lashes together. Now remember, when you're doing a line like this, depending on the pitch of the eye, because Anne Hathaway's eye was more hooded, her line is a slightly different shape than Tracy's because her eye is more deep set. So whenever you're doing a celebrity look, remember you have to change what you're doing based on the person that's really wearing it. It's not just about matching the celebrity exact. You can take the inspiration of the celebrity look and then adjust it for the person that's wearing it. Now I'm going to start with that silvery gray color. Look up. Because it, it is lined, there's color underneath on this look. That's part of the look. And I'm going to take my 13 and I'm going to start to define along the lower lash line. So I'm still using 13, more pointed. It's not as dark as black. Now a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. Now, Anne did not have much cheek color on at all. She just had a really soft pink. Um, Tracy's skin tone is a bit darker, uh, a lot darker. <laughs> Anne is much more alabaster. Yeah, it's so natural. No, it is natural. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do hers a little bit peacher rather than pink. I'm first going to do a little bit of bronzer, just a tiny bit. Smile for me. And then just doing a little bit peacher of a pink on her cheeks versus Anne's pink. Then I'm going to just give me a better edge to her lips. I'm going to go ahead and conceal the edge of her lip so I have a more defined edge. and had a very distinctive kind of matte pink on. I'm going to make it more of a neutral shade for Tracy. I'm going to start off with just kind of a nude lip pencil over her entire lip. With my nub of a pencil. I can't go as pink as Anne's was because Tracy's skin tone is darker. And we're going to go over that with a nice soft nude.
blotting that off because that's my base. Uh, Okay, put them together, just normal, relax them. No, 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 just, there you go. Okay, that creates my base. His ends were very matte. I'm gonna have a little bit of shine to mine. Like I said, I can't go as pink as hers were but I can create a pinker shade with my gloss. As with any time you're recreating a celebrity look, it's all about keying in on the significant parts of that look that make the look special or part of their that celebrity's look. Um, what was special about Anne Hathaway's look for the Oscars was the Audrey Hepburn line, which we of course adjusted for Tracy's eye shape versus Anne's eye shape. We have that line. The fact that it was still lined underneath slightly with a bit of color, we did that as well. That the lid, instead of being stark light, on like normally on Audrey Hepburn eye, had a gray wash to it, which is what we did with Tracy's eye. And it had a, a bit of color to the lip. Now we couldn't go as pink as Anne's did because of the skin tone uh, difference. And I didn't think with Tracy's it would work as well. So we chose a bit softer pink. So I used a matte cream, a matte beige, a matte taupe, a shimmer pinky gray, a black gel liner, a soft pink, peachy pink blush, and then a pale nude lipstick with a pink lip gloss. So this is our take on Anne Hathaway's Oscar look. So we're gonna take Tracy away, and we'll come back with her hair down and finish look. We'll be right back.